Jason here at CRZY News. We're going to uh, show you the report, the bulletin from that terrible night of destruction uh, when Apronhead destroyed the uh, paper doll factory. This was Les Tomac's report from the scene as it happened. Apronhead told the news media, now you all with the little heroes. Now the big piece of human dust that ripped me off and turned me into a human ball of radiation. Apronhead blew down the factory president with gasoline, losing then dusting over the roof. The helicopter was shed lights with at a distance, but Apronhead saw that it was fast approaching, so he dialed the TV station again on the cellular and told the television audience, and now people, you're going to get to see this whole place go up. Apronhead left the floor by crawling on his hands, and he used to the door with a ladder that went to the floor below. Once he got to the top floor below, he started going around wildly dousing everything with gasoline. Then he left several big cans full so that they could explode when the fire reached them. Last of all, Apronhead called the TV station and told the TV audience he was coming out. Apronhead rode the elevator down to the ground floor, doused himself with gasoline, stepped out the front door toward the police and reporters, and then told the crowd, now watch a paper doll go up when I flick my dick. Before any SWAT team member could fire a shot, Anthony had lit himself and burst into a walking ball. Talk shoes. Recorded live. This photograph of the boy known as Abraham is a yearbook high school picture of Reginald Vincent Niedermeyer III. He was born in 1972 in Saw Mill City and then given up for adoption at the age of three when his mother became terminally ill after exposure at a toxic waste dump where she was employed. He was raised in Flat Town by the Bedna twins, Bedna and Didna. He became internationally famous three years ago when he developed the flashy paper doll, which became an international success. It is at this point believed that the sale of the paper doll to a Japanese firm triggered this sudden destructive outburst from Apron Head.